KSBY TV6, serving the Central and South Coasts. You're watching KSBY TV. And now, KSBY News Update with Rick Martell and Sandra Moss. Weather with Mike McCartney and Mitch Massey on sports. A real stumper tonight for local lawmen. You're watching KSBY TV. This is Action News with Alan Schaffler. Weather with David Hefferman. And John Wallahan with sports. And now, Action News at 11. One man said, I've been waiting 40 years for this. Touch with Lynn Deal and meteorologist Sharon Graves. This is Action News 6 at 5. Two Morro Bay fishermen are lucky to be alive tonight after their 65-foot commercial fishing boat caught fire early this morning. KSBY 6. Informed. Involved. In touch. With Robin Rao, Sarah Shelton with weather, and Jim Villarreal with sports. This is Action News 6 at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Live. From the broadcast center of the Central Coast, this is KSBY 6 Action News Update at 11 with Jill Rickett, John Myers, meteorologist Sharon Graves, and Dave Aulis, sports. Out of money, but not out of power. Coming up on Daybreak, drinking and driving led to the death of a local police officer, a 17-year veteran in Arroyo Grande. DUI checkpoints canvassed the state this weekend in an effort to keep drivers safe. And local seniors celebrating Christmas thanks to some teen inmates in the juvenile detention center. It's Monday, December 23rd, 2002. Celebrating the spirit of the Central Coast. This is KSBY 6 Action News Daybreak with Richard Gearhart and Dee Dee Harper. Now the most watched local morning news. Good morning to you. Here's the view from the Cuesta Cam. It's BY6 Action News, live at 5. A Central Coast magician is making a name for himself. Celebrating the spirit of the Central Coast. This is KSBY6 Action News at 6. With Tony Coppola, Jennifer Mandalay, and Dave Olive. Sports. Now, the most watched local news at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Wendy Tease. Tony has the night off. And I'm Jennifer Mandalay. Celebrating the spirit of the Central Coast. This is KSBY 6 Action News at 6. With Sherry Small, Teresa Garcia Weather, and Ryan Bennett Sports. Now, the most watched local news at 6. Saddam Hussein is being contained by U.S. and written in the air. Celebrating the spirit of the Central Coast. This is KSBY 6 Action News Update at 11. With Sherry Small, Teresa Garcia Weather, and Ryan Bennett Sports. Now, the most watched local news at 11. Hello and thank you for staying up with us tonight. I'm Sherry Small. Live. From KSBY 6, the Central Coast's number one local news. This is Action News Daybreak. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for watching Action News Daybreak. I'm Richard Gerhardt. And I'm Sherry Small. Good morning as well. as Live from KSBY 6, the Central Coast's number one local news. This is Action News at 6. Charlie and Hugh the Anchors. Firefighters are keeping busy in San Luis Obispo County. First a brush fire, then a house fire. Both within a few hours of each other. You're clear. Covering the California's open. Central Coast. You're watching Tony Coppola. Wendy Teese. Meteorologist Dave Hubby with TrueView 6. And sports with Andrew Masuda. This is KSBY 6 Action News at 6. Covering California's Central Coast. You're watching Karina Corral. Amber Lee with TrueView 6. And Ryan Varan with Sports. 
This is KSBY 6 Action News at 6. Live from KSBY 6, the Central Coast's number one local news. This is Action News at 11. The issue of medical marijuana is thrust back in the spotlight. Good evening, I'm Sherry Small. Hello, thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Coppola. Okay, welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are live from Pass Robles at the California Mid-State Fair. It is KSBY Day here today. It is. We're so excited about it. You're watching KSBY 6, the Central Coast's number one source for local news. KSBY News Daybreak starts right now. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Daybreak. It is Thursday, October 21st. I'm Karina Corral. And I'm Steve Adamson. You're watching KSBY 6, the Central Coast's number one source for local news. KSBY News at 5 starts right now. You're watching KSBY 6, the Central Coast's number one source for local news. KSBY News at 6 starts right now. The Central Coast's number one source for local news. KSBY News at 11 starts right now. KSBY News, daybreak at 5 a.m. starts right now. A massive typhoon hits northern Philippines today, leaving many people homeless searching for higher ground. Live, local, news. KSBY News, daybreak at 6 a.m. starts right now. The government is just one day away from default, and a credit agency is warning the U.S. rating could take a big hit, costing us all a lot more money. And a bear is wandering the streets of San Luis Obispo this morning. Just an hour ago, it crossed the 101 freeway at the bottom of the grade. KSBY News at 6 starts right now. It's still Thanksgiving, but the clock is ticking for shoppers who just can't wait for Black Friday. Live. Local News. KSBY News at 11 starts right now. KSBY News Daybreak starts right now. Today, people will have another chance to voice their opinion about a Phillips 66 crude oil project. Plus, some landlords are up in arms about a new rental inspection program. We'll explain how the policy was intended to make dwellings safer for tenants. An early morning crash in downtown San Luis Obispo injures several, and now one of the drivers is behind bars. We'll explain. Plus, special events honor standout baseball star Ryan Teixeira. We'll tell you how his former teammates are keeping his legacy alive through the power of baseball. And the Templeton community continues to honor Shelby Subring, a teen that was killed in a crash. How she's being remembered. KSBY News starts right now. Good evening and thank you for choosing KSBY News. I'm Angel Russell. KSBY News starts right now. Thank you for joining, joining us. We are following reports tonight of a near drowning incident in San Miguel. KSBY News starts right now. Good afternoon. We have some breaking news for you. An oil spill has covered a section of the coast of southern Santa Barbara County this afternoon. The new fight over the high-profile FBI investigation of Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh this morning, who investigators are and are not talking to. Plus, the Kavanaugh testimonies reignite conversations about sexual violence nationwide, how local advocacy groups are preparing for an influx of people looking for help. And later, activists are planning a march calling for a shutdown of Cal Poly's Meat Processing Center. It's happened before. What students in the program are saying about the protesters this time. Keeping you informed everywhere. KSBY News Daybreak starts right now. Good Monday morning. Thanks for joining us for Daybreak on this first day of October. How's weather looking as we head into a new month, bro? It's looking good today. You're watching KSBY News Daybreak with Christina Favuzzi, Scott Daniels, and Brooke Martell with your microclimate weather forecast. KSBY News, everywhere. Keeping you informed, everywhere. KSBY News starts right now. Good evening and thank you for joining us for the news at 11 o'clock. I'm Kelsey McFarland. Keeping you informed 
everywhere. KSBY News starts right now. Thank you for joining us for the News at 6. I'm Kathy Karedich. And I'm Richard Gearhart. You're watching KSBY News with Richard Gearhart, Karina Corral, meteorologist Dave Hovde with your microclimate forecast, and Jessica Vo on sports. KSBY News, everywhere. Keeping you informed, everywhere. KSBY News starts right now with breaking news. Good evening and thank you for watching KSBY News at 5. I'm Right now on Daybreak, the debate stage is set for the final face-off of the historic 2020 presidential campaign, a preview of what to expect, and last-minute rule changes. Plus, the latest coronavirus case counts on the Central Coast and a warning from health officials as San Luis Obispo County sees a rise in cases. And money provided by California will now go to people struggling with homelessness, the impact the money will have on local organizations. Keeping you informed everywhere. KSBY News starts right now. Good Thursday morning. I'm Christina Favuzzi. Thanks for staying with us on Daybreak. Brooke Martell joins me now for a first look at your weather. Keeping you informed everywhere. KSBY News starts right now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Richard Gearhart. And I'm Nina Lozano. Keeping you informed everywhere. KSBY News starts right now. Good evening, and thanks for joining us for the news at 10. I'm Richard Gearhart. And I'm Nina Lozano. Right now in KSBY News, an independent panel of experts recommends the FDA authorizes the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. And the COVID-19 pandemic has taken a toll on teachers, how one school is helping its educators. Plus, the Pismo Preserves is temporarily shut down while the Land Conservancy made the decision. Keeping you informed everywhere. KSBY News starts right now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the news at 11. I'm Richard Gearhart. And I'm Nina Lozano. KSBY TV, San Luis Obispo.